So that list of crimes against humanity that the Trump administration hasn't been credibly accused of is getting really hard to see with the naked eye, huh? And since there's so much shit I could be referencing when I say that, I suppose I should specify that I'm thinking specifically of the whistleblower complaint that an ICE detention center in Georgia is performing mass hysterectomies on Spanish-speaking detainees. This allegation comes from one Don Wooten, who filed a complaint on Monday alleging, quote, jarring medical neglect, end quote, like refusing to test symptomatic detainees, falsifying medical records, and failing to take minimal precautions to keep known cases of COVID-19 from spreading. And as if that's not terrible enough, the complaint also includes details of one doctor at the facility that's performing an abnormally high number of hysterectomies, often on patients that said later that they didn't understand why they were getting the operation or even what exactly was happening. So, yeah, I know I'm supposed to try to mix in a joke here and there, but holy fuck. There's a point where I just can't bring myself to summon a pun and forced to sterilization is way over that line. The complaint quoted several unnamed detainees interviewed by an advocacy group called Project South, including one woman who said, quote, we've questioned among ourselves like, goodness, he's taking everybody's stuff out. That's his specialty. He's the uterus collector, end quote. And another who summed it up by likening the center to, quote, an experimental concentration camp, end quote. Now, at this point, we're only talking about allegations, though there are similar stories from several detainees. So far, the reports don't mention any physical evidence. So sure, there's no way to know at the moment if this is actually happening and to what extent it's happening. But regardless of how this shakes out, we've reached a point where our government, you know, the one we pay for, is accused of a form of genocide. And our general conclusion is, yeah, that does sound like our government. And, oh, in case you're wondering, yes, the Irwin Detention Facility where this is happening is less than 70 miles from my house. Just like the Ahmaud Arbery shooting, the Christian leader who slapped that reporter's ass that we talked about last week, and a story about cops shooting at a car full of kids that you probably didn't even hear about because all the horrible shit down here drowned it out. Because the universe has conspired to remind the world that I live in the geographical asshole of America. So after a heavy-ass, humorless story like that, I owe you some kind of good news. I looked far and wide, and the best I can come up with is a law in Queensland, Australia, that priests now definitely have to report child sex abuse that they hear about in confession. Though there's no word if that counts shit their guilty consciousness tell them about. Also, international pariah and hype man for lady chore Stephen Anderson finally got kicked off of YouTube, y'all. But if that isn't enough to cheer you up, I get it. So one last piece of good news. If I ever snap and go anti-misogynist superhero, it doesn't look like I'm going to have to put much mileage on the twin mobile to make a difference. And with that fanfic story prompt, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 